A college student's provocative Tinder profile picture got her kicked out of her sorority. Okay, and I said provocative in quotes. Can we look at the picture in mm. question, please? So we have the picture, and you see she's surrounded by two other sorority sisters, and they are wearing a T-shirt that has their sorority name on it. In fact, the sorority is called Chi Omega Zeta Chi Delta. Omega. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> just... I was never in a sorority, but I should know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Chi Omega, Zeta Delta, and they claim that the photo is provocative. It's risque. They also say that it disobeys the Chi Omega sorority's rule of human dignity, in which they do not allow any of the sisters to upload any photos of themselves that would make their sorority look disrespected. Um, so what they did is they had, really quickly before we go to the five words, what they did is they, they called her in for a meeting. Mm -hmm. She secretly recorded the meeting because she already thought that, there, that that wasn't a provocative photo. She goes into the meeting. Um, apparently one of the board members said, quote, the fact is we're having combative attitude and disrespect from you. So they kicked her out. She said, I don't think it's provocative or risque and required the meeting in the first place. So she did get kicked out. The other two girls in the photos, they peace bounced supported their friend, left the sorority. Thoughts, five words or less. You can't sit with us. Those are shorts. <laughs> Kai Omega swiped left. Another reason don't like sororities. Sorry, and I feel bad saying that because I know it's a generalized point of view, but all the experiences I've had with sororities at UCLA and then all the articles I've read, don't paint sororities Grace in this light. I'm sororities. sorry. Yeah, you do. She fucking loves sororities. I, and if she could, if she, she sits likes here and lies about sisters. it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, big fan. When did, when did this come? This is not about me. This okay. is about I'm a just woman. Saying, I just wanted to make that. sure. Okay, that this is known. about a girl who posted her picture. Mm -hmm. And was it provocative in your eyes? <laughs> no. So provocative. Yeah, those are it, shorts. They look great, but it's not provocative. I don't think it's pro provocative either. And I think it's, it's, it's mean. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, think it's it mean. <laughs> right? yeah. She was wearing clothes. That if anyone else was wearing in LA, they'd just be like, D "Like your shorts aren't short enough." And then in that picture, they're like, <laughs> "Right, oh, like, okay. Okay. Shame. I want to clarify something. Mm -hmm. As the only uh, Greek alumni here, and actually, I did go to the same fraternity as Brett, so okay. I'm literally filling your shoes oh, wow. right now, Brett. Great. Anyway, um, uh, Theta Delta Chi. So, no, uh, she is uh, representing the uh, the sorority at that point mm -hmm. when she's wearing the letters. And that's why there are actually some strict rules and regulations around it. It might seem like uh, frivolous to GDIs like yourselves. GDIs? Goddamn God independent. independent. I'm just joking. I'm not like a really big frat bro What is anymore. going on? But um, no, no, no. But that's the, the, there are actual very strict rules and regulations around how you or where you can wear your letters or um, for different sororities it might be different about where you can wear uh, representative You're right about that because they took material, issue material. with it being on Tinder. They also said that yeah. they felt like, oh, she's wearing it and this is a hookup mm. site. She's looking to date like a slut. I know. Like, yeah. Well, uh, I don't first like of all, it. It's just like I don't Tinder like the is... way that they're painting her and, and women and, and if yeah. you want as an independent single woman to go on Tinder. I don't I mean, like it. I, I mean, sororities are incredibly, have incredibly antiquated laws to begin with. If you think that's bad, let me tell you this. In a sorority house, still, all around America, if girls, uh, because they live with one another in a sorority house, if they drink in common areas, it's technically a brothel. So they're not allowed to drink in common areas in sorority houses. So that's a real law that's still in place wow. that campuses still regulate and enforce. Join so, your local sorority. I know. <laughs> okay, you guys, please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, make sure you check us out on watchable.com.